Welcome to the Net Zero Regenerative Farm Project. I'm your host, Bob King. Thank you for taking the time to view my video. And please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And remember to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon below this video to receive notification when the next video in this series is released. Here is the next video in the series of the Regenerative Farms Project. Farm product identification and selection of sheep and lamb products. Sheep and lamb products introduction and overview. Raising sheep can be a moderate revenue generating stream for the farm. This presentation will cover what products can be derived uh, from sheep from nose to tail. Identifying possible sheep products is an important step in maximizing revenue from sheep. This evaluation process needs to be done on a regular basis as changes in technology, processing techniques, environmental conditions, and customer tastes all change the products possible from sheep and the revenue possibilities. This overview starts with the high level breakdown of the sheep types being used and gradually finds the products from the whole animal down to different parts possible from processing procedures. This overview also covers value added processing products derived from taking the sheep products already processed and fur doing further processing by ad adding a other ingredients and further processing steps to create new products. This will not cover whether you should or could use these products or the sale processes or the profitability or detailed processing steps. Those details will be covered in the marketing and other separate project plan presentations that follow. This will not cover the selection of the different breeds or sizes as that will also be covered and other separate project plan presentations that follow. Sheep types covered. Feeder sheep and lambs. Lambs, hair lambs, slaughter sheep and lambs. Sheep, wool and shorn, hair breeds, lambs, wool and shorn, hair lambs, use, hair use, bucks, hair bucks, replacement sheep, use, and bucks. The direct sale of whole animals are feeder sheep, lambs, lambs, hair lambs, slaughter sheep and lambs, sheep, wool and shorn, sheep, hair breed sheep, lambs, wool and shorn lambs, hair lambs, ewes, hair ewes, bucks, hair bucks, replacement sheep, ewes, and bucks. The sheep lamb processing selections sections of the body are primal cuts, which is, can be the sheep carcass, the front, the flank, the loin, the leg. The subcrimal cuts are from the front, shoulder, neck, foreshank, breast. Continued. Subprimal cut continued. From the flank and loin, from the loin, you can get rib rack, loin, leg, hind shank, leg shank portion, leg butt, butt portion, sirloin, food service cuts, and retail cuts. This is a picture of the various areas on the lamb or sheep where the cut locations occur. Head area neck area, 
shoulder area, rib area, breast area, foreshank area, loin area, flank area, sirloin area, leg area, hind shank area, and the belly area. Sheep lamb processing retail shoulder cuts are sho lamb shoulder arm cuts, arm chops, lamb shoulder arm chops, lamb shoulder blade chops, lamb neck chops, lamb shoulder roast, lamb shank, lamb neck. The lamb processing retail flank cuts are lamb flank rolled boneless, processing retail loin cuts are lamb loin chops, lamb rib chops, lamb rack, the processing retail leg cuts are lamb leg shank portion, lamb leg butt portion, lamb leg sirloin chops, lamb hind shank. The lamb processing retail other cuts are whole lamb, half lamb, ground lamb, sheep bacon, Organ offal cut products are, due to federal regulations, brain, nerve tissues, and spinal cord products will not be considered in this list. Liver, heart, kidneys, spleen, sweetbreads, testicles, tongue, tripe. The other, the processing other value added products are, sheep tallow, lamb burgers, lamb kebabs, sheep cheese, sheep butter, sheep ghee, sheep yogurt, sheep milk, sheep ice cream, hide, skin and leather, wool, lanolin, and that's basically the end of the sheep land products. Thank you for taking the time to view my video and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to click on the subscribe button and the bell icon below this video to receive notification when the next video in this series is released.